convenience matters. So now you can choose how you apply. Call, click, or come in. You can call, and we'll help you complete your application over the phone. You can click, skip the phone call, and go online anytime, any place. Or come in and chat face to face with a real person with real solutions. So when you need cash fast, we've got your back. Apply now. Call, click, or come in to Speedy Cash. I love that Speedy Cash. It's the Ford Memorial Day Celathon, and it's deal time. Get the 2023 Ford Explorer XLT with 0% APR for 60 months, and you could get over $9,000 in finance savings, plus get up to 3,000 total Ford cash back. Don't wait. The Celathon ends soon. A two and a half men. Week next at 7.30 on KTLA 5. Actually on a big holiday weekend like this, so not too many smiles from around here uh, at this terminal where we are at LAX. This is United Terminal, but we saw like a couple, they were walking along and they were grinning ear to ear. I pulled them aside and I said, you're pretty happy to be traveling out this Friday. They go, you know what? You just head out early, give yourself plenty of time. You go in and then you get yourself a coffee. So that's their secret. But we talked about just how stressful it can be. Well, take a look at our trip here to LAX uh, early this morning, trying to even get into the terminals, bumper to bumper traffic. And that's why we always emphasize, give yourself plenty of time because there are so many delays here. According to the latest travel trends and statistics, more than 3 million people all across SoCal will travel travel for Memorial Day. That's a huge rise, even more than before the pandemic. By plane, buses, trains, even cruises, it's a 7.7% increase from last year. And some predict that there will be record-breaking numbers ahead of the summer travel season. Now, some of the top domestic destinations include Orlando, New York, also Las Vegas. But here's the downside. Travelers are going to be paying more for trips this Memorial Day, and that's mainly because of the spike in the prices of those uh, airline tickets and also hotel accommodations. Also surging international travel bookings are 250% higher this holiday weekend compared to last year this time. And whether you're traveling domestically or internationally, expect to pay 25 to 50% more for hotel stays this year compared to last. AAA travel expert Doug Shoup, he explained it well, explained why. Restrictions have lifted all across the globe. People feel more comfortable to travel and they're ready to see the world again. That's why we're anticipating so many people traveling, not only here in the U.S., but abroad as well. Everything is going more expensive, yeah. Yeah, before it's a little cheaper. Now very hard to afford it. But you're saying it's worth it, the pandemic's over, we're ready yeah. to hit the friendly sky. Yeah, I mean, like the pandemic over, no more masks, yeah. We are free now. <laughs> and some quick tips to allow for a smoother flight out of LAX. Be sure to check in early online at home to avoid those long lines here. Download the airline app and you'll see any possible cancellation or delays so you can, of course, plan ahead. And a big reminder, we mentioned at the top, arrive early at least two hours early for domestic flights and three hours for international flights. I stuck my head inside right before this hit, checked out the terminals. You know, things are moving um, very smoothly inside again. It's just getting here. A lot of people are trying to, you know, hop those flights and the lines are long coming in here. Lots of congestion. But the good news is once you get at least this terminal united, it seems to be pretty smooth inside. That's the good news. We'll send it back to the studio. Kareen, thank you. Well, the writer's strike is in its fourth week, and the WGA is now shifting its strategy when it comes to picketing. Other unions are expected to join writers for a show of support during this evening's commute in downtown L.A. KTLA 5's Gene Kang has the latest on the writer's strike and its impact. Hi there. Writers have been on strike for 24 days, but today will look different. Thousands of them are gathering here in downtown Los Angeles by the convention center with the support of a dozen unions. You're taking a look at archive video as the Writers Guild of America wraps.